As you prepare to begin your semester, think about how you want to organize your materials in your Schoology course. Having a plan from the beginning is really helpful for you and for your students and the parents that may need to access materials. So one of the things you can do to organize is to create folders. So under Add Materials, you can click the Add Folder button. Really think about how you want to title your folders. So are you going unit by unit? Is there specific names for sections within your semester? Uh, do you want like all your assignments in one place and all your resource materials in another folder? So really think about how you want that to be organized. You can color code, so similar materials and similar colors. And then think about adding a description. So these descriptions can explain the type of information that the students or parents would find in that folder. The other option that's kind of new here is in this bottom section, you can have something that you create that's unpublished so the kids can't see it until you switch it to be published, or you can schedule it to be published on a particular date. Um, so this is great for kind of getting things ready and then having it available to the students when it's relevant. Okay, within a folder, think about how you want to organize the materials. If you have too many kind of folders within folders within folders, it gets a little complicated, especially when kids are accessing things from their phones. Um, so, you know, one or two clicks in is really as far as you want to go. Um, you can click and drag things within a folder. So if you want them to show up in a particular order, you can just click and drag them. Schoology automatically puts the new materials at the bottom. So if you'd like kind of the most recent materials to be at the top kind of eye level, then you can just click and then drag them into place. Really think about how long your list is getting. If the kids have to scroll and scroll and scroll to find materials, it does get a little time consuming and frustrating for the students. No matter what you choose, just have a plan. Communicate that plan with your students so that they can find things efficiently, submit things efficiently, and hopefully focus mostly on the content that you're presenting.